All right, man, let's make sure we don't scratch this nice ride. Let's get that fender cover yeah, on. Yeah, man, we have official two guys garage fender cover. Now, we got our buddy Jay. He's got a lot of miles on this car, but, you know, he wants to eke out a few thousand more. Yeah, the problem with Jay is, hey, we love him, man, but every time we see him, he's got that sweaty back syndrome. Ooh. You know what we're talking Ooh, about, right? Yeah. Sweaty Talk back's no good. Yeah. <laughs> so we got an AC problem. Now, last year, it blew cold. It was fine, man. Yeah. He always had a cool, dry shirt on. <laughs> but over time, last couple of months, you know, the cold started being not so cold anymore, and now it's just kind of warm. So we probably got a leak in the system, so we can go through and, you know, repressurize and see if we can, you know, contain that leak or if we got a major repair. Now, we're just going to dig through and, and uh, access that low side service port. Right. If you're not familiar with ACs, you can get on AC Pro website and they got a low, low side service port locator for whatever vehicle you've got. So now you can get in there, start checking the pressures, seeing how you're doing. This one just happened to be underneath the air box. And like my boy Kev here will go in and tell you, there's so many places where these things can leak. There's like 15 O-rings, all kinds of stuff. And that's why these guys at AC Pro came up with not only a really wicked coolant, but it also is a rubber conditioner. So it goes in and it helps seal those O-rings. Yeah, so the AC system is just a big loop of refrigerant. But you got a compressor in there. And on one side of the compressor is an orifice. So you're backing it up. Once you kick that thing on, you're pushing free on against the orifice or TXV valve. And on the other side of the compressor is a low side. You're pulling a vacuum. So that's what we're going to tap into is that low side. Now I'm going to fire this thing up so yeah. we can get the system running, see what kind of system pressure we're looking at. Hey, and check this out. This is kind of cool. This little port right here, if you will, the only thing that this thing can snap onto underneath the entire hood of your car I'm is that low up, port man. side. All right, man, give me some heat. So you have it connected right there. So that's going to give us a reading in a second. And a really cool thing about this is you can set the temperature. In here, it's about 72 degrees. So we roll up here, set it to about 72 degrees. See that? And then it's basically just a trigger. See that? We have it hooked up to the low port side and you're ready to squeeze. Check this out. Now when we let go of that, you can see it's filling it up. Here's a little more. At 72 degrees, you want to get it in and around the green up here. So when you let go of the trigger, as you can see, that needle is climbing. Filling up this AC, we're going to get Jay some clean, dry shirts. Look at that, we're already in the green. Dryer. <laughs> I can feel it. Start to feel it? Yeah. Awesome. All right. So now we have refrigerant in the system. It can actually do what it's supposed to do. Um, and because we've got you know the conditioners in there, we can kind of tighten up a lot of those little seals. Now, if you've got a bigger leak, typically not you know one of the rubber components, maybe you've got some corrosion happening inside your condenser or evaporator, you can use the super seal. Now, the super seal is what they use in a lot of the uh, kind of Alaskan pipelines. It's got a silene in it. And what that does, it kind of acts like clotting blood. Inside yeah. the system, it won't hurt any of the components, it won't clog anything up. But if you've got a leak and it starts to push its way out, exposure to oxygen or air and moisture, moisture and it'll start to sort of coagulate like blood and seal off those you know, sort of larger metallic pinholes or whatever. Look at that. Fully charged and ready to roll. All That's right, how man. easy this is. So Come on. Easy, quick fix. Our buddy Jay's going to be a whole lot more fun to hang around with. So yeah. let's move on to some other cool stuff. All right. 